In this video, I'm going to be going over the Google Project Management Professional Certificate located on Coursera. Now, you may be wondering, what does IT have to do with project management? And I'm going to tell you everything. IT is business facing and is basically broken up into various projects that you will do for the customer. By knowing these project management principles, you can really accelerate your career and it can even help you get a job. And these Google professional certificates are really good. These are on point and I've gone through some other courses that aren't Google. They have a lot to be desired, let me tell you. And if you want the quick answer whether or not you should learn project management or start this course the answer is yes you should the link is below in the description if you want to check that out Google professional certificate if you want a more detailed review on the Google project management certificate then stay tuned and stay to the end of the video and I'll go over whether or not I think this will help you land a job in IT and project management project management is just basically using skills tools and resources to achieve the desired outcome and that is all of IT and this is a really important skill that's actually requested on a lot of job descriptions knowing operational knowledge and this will put you ahead of the game beyond just your career this project management certificate because I actually went through it has actually helped me in my personal life and on this YouTube channel I am the most disorganized person so by giving me like, new principles to follow and spreadsheets and saturating my mind with project management honestly I've seen a mass improvement so if you want to get better organization skills you can take this course and apply it to your life because you have projects and you have an outcome. For instance, getting a job in cybersecurity is a project. By learning these project management skills, you can apply them to your life, create a plan, a timetable, a team, accountability, targets, and then just go after it. Because without a plan, you're basically just kind of wandering around aimlessly. This course will help you get there. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe as it helps the YouTube algorithm. I would appreciate it. Let's get into the course content and my key takeaways. Now, this wasn't the longest course that I've taken and it was actually really refreshing that it wasn't a technical course. Sometimes you can just get so bogged down with those technical courses and this was just so much easier on my brain. I'm like, this is amazing. But first it goes into the foundation of project management. And this was just key concepts that you're going to need to know for the rest of the course. So types of project management skills, what exactly do they do? How to delegate, how to communicate with people. It was pretty basic and pretty foundational. The next course was project initiation. And this was basically going into starting a successful project. This is really useful when you're starting anything really these principles. Here I learned how to start a project basically, which seems super simple, right? Just start it. But really you need to plan before you start it. Measure twice, cut once. And it goes into SMART goals and that is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based goals, which I have talked about. Setting these goals are really important as it will basically define your entire project. So you don't wanna get these wrong, otherwise you're going in the wrong direction and you're not gonna end up where you want to. It'll be a huge waste of your time, don't be aimless. The next course, after you created your SMART goals and what you wanted to do, you're you're going to go into is putting it all together and this is where you're going to create schedules, Kanban boards, budget, procurement, risk management, what are the risks to doing this and all of that and organizing documentation which I'm pretty bad at. I don't know about you. So after you go through putting it all together then you are going to finally execute. So here you're going to be tracking the projects. So are you actually doing what you said you were going to do? Is your Are your team members actually doing what they need to do? You're going to learn effective presentation techniques so I actually learned a lot of techniques that I'm actually applying to these YouTube videos I don't know if you can notice probably not and then you're also going to know like there's a difference between program and project management and I actually never fully knew what the difference was until I took this course and now everything is clear and I can see I'm also going to go into how to influence people which I found absolutely fascinating and then the next course after this will be agile project management and I absolutely love Agile. It's based on having a self-organizing team so there are no technical bosses and the team makes the decision which makes it very quick 
and agile so you can easily change depending on the demand of the customer and the marketplace and you can actually just become a scrum master this is an entire job and it pays really well like, i think 90 to 100 thousand dollars to become scrum master which is just amazing some of the pros to the google project management professional certificate is that the quality is on point everyone is well spoken the audio is good the production is good the backgrounds are good it's good video the, the course content is just very amazing and every other course should follow these courses when they're making their own course the instructors were really relatable and i like them i mean you want to like someone if you're going to be watching them for so long i don't know if people factor this <laughs> I've watched some courses where I didn't like the people and those were just not good. There was quizzes throughout all of the lessons, so it really just kept you engaged in the course content. There's also a capstone project, which you can actually put on your resume if you're interested in that and it verifies your knowledge. Also, I have a link below to the Google project management course. And I also have a project separate from this that you can check out. I have it linked underneath and it actually has you build out everything that course below. Low. So I would do that. I think it's about two hours. It's really not that long. And some cons to the Google Project Management Certificate is that you're not actually dealing with people and project management is all about relating and interacting with people. And unlike tech where you can really just learn everything on your computer and you don't really need to talk to anyone, project management in order to get really good at it, you're really going to need to talk to people. So that was a, like a huge con and it's not really a Google thing. It's just kind of across the board. Like it's really hard get better at communicating with people when you're on your computer. If someone knows how to solve this problem, please leave a comment below. And another con was that it may be too basic if you already have a little bit of knowledge on project management. So you may be pretty bored through this and it might just be a waste of your time. And I would say that I was like okay on project management, so maybe I wasn't as good as I thought I was. But that, that's a story for another time. And you'll learn some really good skills that you can put on your resume, such as operational knowledge of project management, how to run projects, agile project management, which is really big in the tech field. This is really good skill to have. Time management skills, tracking skills, uh, KPIs, and all of that sort. So if you have these skills, you'll have a better picture of the understanding of what goes on IT and you'll be able to talk to your manager better, which really is helpful, especially if you're trying to get an interview, you kind of know how they think. And most of your managers will have really good project management skills. So if you bring up like, I know what a work structure breakdown is, I know how to make some Kanban board from some things, then you'll look pretty good in this interview. And most of you who will start the Google Project Management Certificate will not complete it. So some tips to completing, which actually our project management tips are to be specific. You know, like, what do you want to learn exactly? Project management, what do you want to get out of this course? Do you just want to aimlessly wander around? What's, and how are you going to measure that you're actually doing it? So are you completing the quizzes? Is it relevant to what you want to do? I'm gonna say that if you're trying to get into tech, project management is relevant to what you want to do. Achievable, you can definitely achieve this certificate within one month, I would say. I really want one to two months but one is probably the most. And time-based, put a deadline on that. So I would say no more than two months and then follow through because there's this thing such as Parkinson's law where the task will expand to the amount that you give it. You don't want to say six months, probably spend that time better elsewhere. So that goes into like the time amount that you need to be completed. Don't take more than two months on this. One month is actually preferable because it's pretty basic material and does give you a good basic knowledge, but your time, if you're going to do something for six months, you could just get the PMP, which is very valuable on your resume. And that goes into the price of the project management certificate by Google posted on Coursera. And the price is going to be $39 a month, but that could change, of course. And so if it's two months at most that you're doing it, that's around $80. That is a really good deal for the quality of content that you are getting here. Also, I have an extra project that I found on Coursera that is also linked below. So spend maybe a month on the Google project management course and then do a guided Coursera project. And this will set you up for success. The types of jobs that the Google project management certificate prepares you for is a project manager, of course, maybe a team 
taking lead for a help desk if you're going the IT route. The thing is that there's so many different types of project managers that whatever your field is right now, you can just add this skill on it and become a project manager for that skill. So if you work in IT, you could become an IT manager. If you work in cybersecurity, you, you could become a cybersecurity project manager and the possibilities are limitless. And this course will definitely help you get there. Now, does the Google project management certificate replace a degree? The answer is definitely no. I wouldn't even say it replaces any certificates because it's not well known and this knowledge isn't that advanced and it's not a technical field. It's more about how you can communicate and just through experience. It's highly experience based. So I would say no. And oftentimes a degree is just a check mark and this does not meet the check mark requirements, which is from an accredited institution um, in the United States or wherever you are. Now, will the Google Project Manager Certificate help you get a job? And the answer is yes. So it shows that you're self-directed, you have initiative, you have enthusiasm. You can learn things without someone forcing you to, which is a rare skill, believe this or not. It will help you understand the lingo of your boss and it will also help you understand business operations a lot better because you can apply this to if you start your own side hustle or to things in your own life, such as getting a job in cybersecurity. Uh, if we look at this junior IT project management job posting, you're going to see it. it only requires one year of experience. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take briefs of different things. So you're just gonna be a note taker. You're gonna identify any issues and resolve them. So some problem solving, you can do that. Create concepts and designs for new digital projects. Remember, a lot of these job postings are written by junior human resources that may not fully understand the jobs themselves. So a lot of job descriptions are really bad. Let's see, Scrum or Agile experience, which you will learn in the Google IT Project Management Certificate. Provide cost estimation and quotations and in the project that I linked below it will definitely teach you how to do that and you can actually show this to like an employer in an interview. Pair accurate status reports. Now anybody could do this like it's not that difficult and the pay uh, is 55000 to 80000 a year and this is in Columbus, Ohio with a really low cost of living by the way so that is actually really good for a junior project manager. So those are some salaries you can expect to make as a project manager. Some alternatives to the Google Project Management Certificate would be just getting your PMP. This is a widely recognized certificate and would be really useful to get if you're wanting to go into project management. But I'm gonna say that this Google course is really informative. And if you're just looking to like gain basic concepts of project management, and thanks for watching my course on the Google Project Management <laughs> Certificate. Um, if you want to watch more videos on these Google courses and other uh, courses that I've made, I have linked some right here and I just talk uh, Yep. And until next time. Bye.